with gold stripes on the left. Judah, as you said, is a spoiler. He has surprised quite a few people in the last year, moved into the world ratings at number 10. Roy Kleckner, very confident that he's going to, going to take this fight. Judah, very confident that he's going to upset Kleckner. There was that spinning back kick by Judah that thrown just the way we talked about it earlier. He must have watched the lesson. Roy Kleckner has not seen Judah fight. And maybe that is to his advantage because in one fight, Judah would be the aggressor in the center of the ring. In the next fight, he'd be running and going all around the ring. Judah is moving effectively out of the way of the back leg kicks. Both fighters kicking with tremendous power. crowd is very tentative. We're in the Sands Casino and Hotel in Atlantic City, and the crowd has been very excited for the previous fights, but right now they don't want to see their local Philadelphia hero go down. They're not sure against this guy that no one knows of. Well, they traded left jabs, and you saw Kleckner's left jab just drive Judah back into the corner ropes there, but they both landed solid. Spinning back kick. Kleckner got his elbow down, caught a piece of it. Judah gets around very quickly on that technique. Jay Will warning Judah not to hold. Judah seems to be watching the forward movement of Kleckner very well and seems to be acting as though he may be timing some kind of defensive move against Kleckner coming in. When he tries to beat Kleckner with the jab, though, he's coming out on the short end. Kleckner really digging some power into the body. You see Kleckner doubling up on the jab there effectively, stopping Judah's initial counter move. There's that left jab they traded, and both fighters had to back off after that one. Yeah, it looked like uh, Kleckner was a little off balance. He definitely got the better part of the power on that one, unloaded. Looking in the corner of Roy Kleckner, Lynn Lomas working on him. Lynn Lomas is there with him, as is the former U.S. welterweight champion Mike Brennan. They work in each other's corners, Mike Brennan there on the left. Round number two. We're ready for round two here in the sands. Kleckner looks a little bit more intense at the beginning of this round. He came out with three hard kicks. That was about the least aggressive round we've ever seen from Roy Kleckner. He's just out feeling Judah out. He'd never seen him fight before Judah had seen Kleckner fight on ESPN. Both fighters landing that left effectively. There's some redness above the right eye of Kleckner. There's a spinning back kick. Kleckner stepped inside it. I had that first round as a Kleckner round. 10-9 had him landing the more effective blows in that round number one. Seems like uh, Kleckner is now building up ahead of steam. He's moving Judah from left to right in the corner, mixing up the kicks and punches pretty well. Kleckner now very, very intense. Judah will not be able to rest for nine rounds. The punching styles are getting the two of them a little bit out of position. They're getting turned around with Kleckner a little spun off to the left a couple of times. Hard body shot by Kleckner. Came off the Judah left jab. Judah got his left hand back and Kleckner was there with the left hook to the body. Good left hand by Judah with his back against the ropes. Good snap in that left hand. Ooh, that spinning back fist came from the basement. There you go. Judah doesn't back up when Kleckner throws that jab. Judah just fires his own jab, neutralizing the power in the Kleckner jab. Kleckner really digging the power into the body. Judah is tying him up very quickly inside. When he gets close, Judah ties up both his hands. Judah's very calm, Joe. 
He, he doesn't is. seem worried. No, he's he's not intimidated at this point. I expect to see his confidence picking up. He's a fairly cocky guy anyway. Roy Kleckner normally is fighting a much more torrid pace than he has thus far in these first two rounds. Round three action. Kleckner in white, Judah in red. This is for the U.S. Super Lightweight Championship. Kleckner a little off balance, missing with that round kick. Boy, when Kleckner throws the kicks, as you said at the head of the show, Kleckner's not the flashiest fighter in this sport, but there's nobody more aggressive and nobody who throws more emphasis into those back leg kicks to the body. Kleckner walked into a right hand and got caught going away with a right hand. Smart move by Kleckner. Good jab then by Kleckner. I had Kleckner winning the second round as well. 10-9, close round, but I've got him ahead by two points. 2018 at the end of two rounds. If you're scoring at home, keep in mind the judges here at ringside on a close round like that could just as easily give the round even or go to the other guy. Break! Got it. Hold up. Back. I have a warning for holding. Double up now. Run, run. Warning for Mr. Judah for holding and warning. Warning does not count as a penalty. He was given one warning. Yoel Judah was given a warning for holding on. Good left hook inside then by Kleckner. Tried to come back with the right hand. Judah almost ducked into that left roundhouse kick of Roy Kleckner's. He could very easily have ducked into the shin. Three punch combination by Judah. He was kind of back on his heels. Didn't get full power in him, but he's starting to unload the three punch combinations. Judah's landing, but Kleckner is landing more effectively. Judah ducked again then. He's putting himself in a very dangerous position with Roy Kleckner throwing that, that blow up in as tight as he is. Good three-punch combination by Judah again. We're closing out round number three. We'll be right back after this. Ringside is the U.S., or excuse me, the world super lightweight champion, Paul Vizio. Didn't mean to demote you there, Paul. Paul, welcome. What are you thinking so far? Who's who? You, who are you picking in this one? I'm picking Roy Kleckner. <laughs> okay. Did you have uh, Judah win in this last round? Judah did really good this round. He connected a lot with Sands. Paul Vizio, one of the real quick thinkers in the ring and on his feet. Uh, Paul Vizio sees some interesting things happen in the ring. Paul, I hope you'll share them with us. <laughs> Paul will be joining us here with our commentary as we're in round number four. Judah fighting his way out of the corner. It's really difficult to tell who's landing the more effective blows. Both fighters are landing. Jay Will has warned Judah several times for, for holding thus far in the, uh, in the fight. Paul Vizio, what does Roy Clayton need to do to really win this effectively? He's got to remember what he's doing. Now, the guy's timing him now. He's looking. He's looking to time. Timing Roy right now. He's waiting for Roy to run in. He can't run in with them hands down. Very colorful. Very, very colorful. He's got the moves. Good left hand, wide left hand in by Judah, just barely grazed by the face of Kleckner. He's trying to stop missing them kicks. He's going to kick the kick. Roy Kleckner has a tendency when he throws those back leg kicks to just throw them without putting a punch out in front of him. You can see him coming. Judah is getting well out of the way of those kicks. And that hole in it don't look too intentional. It's just that uh, he's really uh, colorful. He's got a lot of moves. And he's trying to turn him and spin him around. Good runner was hurt by that right hand. It snapped his uh, head was, back, and he, yeah. <laughs> he looked over at Larry Black, heard him say that, and said, no, I wasn't. Smiled at Larry. He was reaching for that right hand. It wasn't too much on it. And Judah's, his shoulders. Judah's continuing to hold. He has gotten penalized one point in this round for that holding. But he is teeing off on Kleckner's head now with the right hand. Kleckner's still smiling, saying, I'm not hurt. But my goodness, those blows are snapping his head. Judah is staying just out of the range of the spinning kicks and then countering effectively. He's picking the shots. He's picking the shots. Paul Vizio, whose round is this? What's happening here? Again, uh, the old Judah is uh, it's not a hurry to ride away, but it just looks nice. He's reaching. He's just making contact. So that's very impressive for the judges. See, they're very wide. He's just touching. He's uh, scoring. And see, so if we're going to go on points, uh, we're going to have to say Judah. There's the holding that cost him a penalty point in that round. You saw him throw a couple of punches and then reach out, wrap his arms around Roy Kleckner. Clinching is illegal in PKA karate. It may just be a bad habit. 
That's a bad habit that cost him one point in that right. round. He's got to cut that out. Easy to fix. Bad habits, easy to fix. He's standing there for Roy to work. But they don't they tell him that he's got a the guy's picking the shot. There you go. He's waiting for Roy to come and get the counter. Counters with the short right and the hook. Kleitner is really digging those shots into the body while Judah is reaching around him to hold again. He's got to change his pace. Roy got to in and out more and change his pace. Just don't walk straight in. There you go. A little bit of movement. And he'll do good. Good it's right hand fighter. by Kleitner. Good Holding timing. On and hit Butler landed with that lead left jab. I never saw this uh, Joe Judah fight before. It's pretty uh, colorful. <laughs> He's got good timing, good yep. distance, good speed. Smart, very smart. I think we'll get a warning for Kleckner. Yes, it's an official warning for grabbing the leg. Low kick landed uh, accidentally on Judah. He's taking uh, every advantage of it. You saw Kleckner knew that it landed, and when it did, he didn't follow up with the punch afterwards. Just counting with that short right hand. You can't hold your hands any tighter than Roy, though, you know. It's, uh, he's just coming in too straight. He's coming on an angle more. He'll probably do good. As our world champion is telling us, uh, Joel Judah is timing the initial move of Roy Kleckner, who's not thinking, he's not setting up his, his initial move. And Judah is catching him. I had Judah winning that last round, but he lost a point on the penalty, so I've got him down still by one point, 38-37. But he is landing better in these exchanges now than is Roy Kleckner. Well, we said that Judah is a spoiler. And if he comes in here and takes away this U.S. title from Roy Kleckner, he definitely will live up to that reputation. Kleckner needs to get in a little bit tighter when he starts to throw that back kick by setting it up with a hand move. This is from round number five. Paul Vizio, what do you see and how would you take advantage of it? Yeah, I'm trying to say, well, I don't know. Roy's got to change his strategy a little bit now because the guy's getting used to it. He's, uh, he's a smart okay, player, like I said. He's, he knows the moves. Round he's got to change his strategy a little bit. Round number six. He, uh, that was a perfect example of what we were talking about earlier. He threw the spinning back kick without sliding in with a jab in front of it, so his distance was off. And uh, as we're seeing right now, Yoel Judah is... Uh, is fairly sharp at getting just out of range of those kicks. That puts him right in range to counterattack. Well, Fleckner has lost the middle rounds, and he can't afford to do that. Joel Judah doesn't look as though he's going to be losing any esteem. He'll fight like this for the whole nine rounds. I gave that last round to uh, Judah again, 10-9, so I've got him dead even now at the end of five rounds, 47-47. Kleckner is continuing to make the same mistakes, and Judah is picking up on those mistakes more often now. There's those back leg kicks thrown by Kleckner. No setup in front of him. It's obvious those, those body kicks are annoying him, but uh, Kleckner keeps head on his knives digging to the body. This whole round, he should do that. And look at the guy drop his arms. Good, nice, good. shot went on. Up on top. Kleckner's saving him. I think it's about the first, maybe the second time in Royce. Fighting history, he's got somebody about his same size, but he's still a little bit taller. So he's like punching a little wide. I think that's why. That's a slip. That's why uh, this guy's coming in inside of the one. Fechner was a little off balance then. Judah pushed him down with the right hand. That spinning back just landed on the shoulder. Judah is coming off of those kicks of Roy Kleckner's with a good counter. He's doing it a number of times, and he's doing it because he's got the timing picked up of Roy Kleckner's kicks. There, you see a prime example of it. And he just moves back and counters with the right hand. You think Kleckner would be doing good inside, but this guy's very sharp on the, on the ropes. He moves good. Thank you, Paul, for being with us. We'll be back. You know, you see action from round number six. Yoel Judah able to pick up the timing of Roy Kleckner and be just out of range of all of those kicks. Kleckner kicks hard, but they're not being as effective as they could be against this man or against Yoel Judah. Let's hope that Roy Kleckner's corner told him to get in there and start setting up some of those kicks. Judah is still just right out of range of them. You see, just, that one just barely touched him on the skin. 
All the power for Sean. That spinning back fist landed. Kleckner can take a punch, but it was a hard blow. We've seen Kleckner get nailed a number of times, but Judah's now putting the combination shots on him. Richard Jackson dropped Roy Kleckner just momentarily with a spinning back fist when they fought. Paul Vizio, who joined us a little earlier, just left us, nailed him, nailed him with some hard shots. Roy Kleckner can definitely take him. I had that last round for Judah, so I've got him leading Kleckner now by one point. Kleckner can take the shots, but will he win on the judges' scorecard if it goes to a decision? This could be the upset that Yoel Judah predicted. Roy Kleckner making the same mistakes over and over. Judah picking up on him. Kleckner is throwing that back kick very slowly now. And Judah is very easily able to pick up the timing, step in with a right hand. Kleckner got his foot caught in the rope. Referee not in. calling that a knockdown because the foot was caught in the rope. If the foot had not been in the rope there, he very easily could have called that a knockdown. Judah has landed a number of very powerful blows on Roy Kleckner in this fight, in this round. Kleckner has landed effectively to the body, but Judah is taking advantage of every mistake. Another spinning back fist followed by a left hand. A right hand and Kleckner goes down. Boy, I mean, just Judah teed up on that right hand he saw Kleckner move it in he drew back with the right hand and drilled it right down the middle Kleckner looking at his corner trying to pull it back together and the bell may save him in this round it ran off just as Jay Will got to eight now watch this Kleckner comes in Judah just draws back and right on the jaw over top of you with the right hand so be aware of it Beautiful timing, not perfect technique. He punched from his waist. That's all right, he was not in trouble. He stepped back. He had the distance between them. Kleckner came through that distance with his chin forward, and Judah was there with the right hand right on the button. This could be an upset, as Joel Judah had predicted. All right, bring on now. Spinning back kick, hard driving into the arm by Judah. And again, he's just out of reach of those kicks. Kleckner has got to set those kicks up with his hands. Judah is now very confident with his punches. He's watching his punches go in. His eyes are very strong right on the target, and he's landing two punches at once. Those are the kind of things that can definitely put Kleckner in a lot of trouble. The two punches combined effect landing on him. Judah with a spinning back kick, spinning back fist combination. That's the second one of those we've seen in the last two rounds. Judah now taunting Kleckner with his hands down by his side. He wants Kleckner to come in because he is very effective at picking off Kleckner. There's a kick to the head, followed by a right hand. And Kleckner landed a solid left hook, but Judah is getting the better of him. Kleckner was hurt by a right uppercut. Judah now landing, trying to put the touches on Roy Kleckner. Will he go down? It's going to be a standing eight count, a new rule in professional fights in PKA Karate. Kleckner receives a standing eight count, which scores as a knockdown. Winding up the right hand, he lands a left-right combination. It's a knockdown. And Kleckner, I don't think, is going to be able to get the steam back in his legs that he needs to win this fight. Judah, I don't know how much time he's got left in this round, but he is landing the combination shots on Roy Kleckner, and those are Kleckner's undoing. Judah wants to finish him off. We're in the eighth round. We have one round remaining after this one. Kleckner has only kicked five times so far in this round. And he's hurt by another left hand. Here you see the action in the corner. Kleckner being pounded and Judah with his eyes open picking the shot. Yeah, Roy Kleckner is hurting. He's, he's down a considerable amount now. He'll try to make it through the fight. His only way to know the fight is to move straight forward, but he's not setting up his technique. What are they telling him in the corner? Mike Brennan. We're told 
that uh, Roy Clayton only got six kicks in that last round, so he lost two points on each one of the judges' scorecards. In addition to being down, it's going to be almost impossible for Roy Clayton to come back unless for somehow he were able to knock Judah out in this round. Judah predicted an upset, and he may have it. We're in the ninth and final round, and all Judah has to do is stay away. He's just out there staying right out of range of the kicks and then countering. He's been doing that since the third round. Come on, come on. Running back, bouncing off the ropes. He is not afraid of those Kleckner kicks. Kleckner got his back turned around and then one of those left hooks landed. Spinning back twist off the gloves, but that right hand landed. Judah watching his punches. He knows when Kleckner's got a shot, a, a block in the way of the right hand. The straight right and came with the uppercut under Kleckner's block. What guts and courage in Roy Kleckner, but he's just not reading the strategy properly in this fight, and Yoel Judah is winning it strategy-wise all the way. Oh, Kleckner's about to go down, blood trickling from his nose, a back kick to the body. Less than 40 seconds remaining in the fight. And I don't think Kleckner has it in him to knock Judah out. so far ahead unless Kleckner can knock him out he's going to win this fight remember the bell doesn't save you in any round in PK karate if Judah were to go down for some reason at the end and our time must be off a few seconds there's the bell for the end of the fight it goes to the officials for the decision you know Johnny very few people appreciate the beauty of a good right hand. I know, Brad. Or the symmetry, the way the right and left flow together. Or the poetry of a superfoot. It's him again. Guy. Atlantic City. Judge Harris scores the fight 86-86. Judge McTiernan scores the fight, 83-87. Judge Martinelli, 84-86. The winner by unanimous decision, the United States super lightweight champion, Yoel Yuda. Yuda! The counterpunching oh, style and timing of Yoel Yuda sets up an interesting confrontation with Paul Vizio, a future bout in our series. Let's go.